My top three tips for leaders would be to remain genuine and authentic, um, to surround yourself with the people you're working with in terms of your leadership group. Um, they've got a different skill set to you, so identifying what your skills are and what their skills are and, and being open um, to letting everyone, I suppose, own what they're good at. Um, and to just always being very open to feedback. I think sometimes we feel like we're being criticised um, and that we might get a bit offended at you know, what people have to say about the way we're going about things. But at the end of the day, I believe feedback is a gift and um, you know, everyone's trying to be better um, and to be open to, to being better and listening to what, what your team has to say about your leadership, good and bad, and, and taking that on board. Um, my top three tips for leaders in developing high performance teams uh, would be firstly just to understand your people. Uh, people react differently to different things, people learn in different ways, so I think actually talking to your people and understand what they want, not just from their sport, but what they want in life and, and what really drives them will help you help them develop. Uh, another tip uh, in leadership just to um, do as you say, so uh, if, if you're asking people to do something, you really need to be doing it yourself. Uh, and the third leadership tip is just to be yourself. Uh, I think when put into positions of leadership, it's, it's, it's easy to think I should be doing more, what should I be doing? But the reason you're in that position is usually because of what you're doing in the first place. So just back yourself and, and go for it. I think uh, my top three tips for leaders would be, the first one would be to be accountable and be real, um, be a human face, care about people. The second thing I think would be not to pretend you know everything because people know that you don't. And my third tip would be to develop a culture that you're proud of.